all right um good day guys so this is my first video on my youtube channel uh today we'll be doing a breakdown on the sumi v2 now the sumi v2 is it's a receipt it's a receipt maker however it has this unique component of also being an android device so today i'll be showing you how i've simply pulled down off the machine because i realize on youtube there isn't much of it and if you need to do repairs or find out what's wrong with it then you can go about it through this video now the tools that you'll be needing are screwdriver obviously solder iron right here and you need an all-in key now not a huge one an all-in key now the all-in key screw it's in it's on the outer layer <coughs> excuse me of the machine so here's one of the screws here I'm gonna try and make it focus uh, yeah so you need one of these so all right let's get done with the breakdown <laughs> um so in the internals you have about i'm going to say one two three four five six seven screws to get down to now what i like to do is take off the protective layer which houses which basically holds the board inside so we'll start by removing the camera Just a simple flip up and the camera go. And we also need to solder the the speaker which is connected here. Now be very careful with the solder. Like, try zoom in. So I can give you guys a better view. So, as at first I thought soldering was hard, but all it is is legitimately bloop. Just touch the thing, remove the thing, and when soldering back the iron, <coughs> remember which wire went on which component. You can't really just put them anywhere. <coughs> then the sound won't work anymore um so yeah i'll just excuse the background noise guys um all right so i'll now be taking off the protective limb so as i said we already removed the camera um so essentially all we're doing Top layers of screws. I'll also be doing a follow up video on how to put it back together and how to maintain printer quality. Now, this machine is damaged already, so that's why I have no problem with you know pulling it down. So, I'll show you the damaged component as well. So with these devices they're relatively new so you can't really find new parts from a third party source so the company usually recommends that you deliver it however if you have spare devices and you want to keep your data from the damaged device you can use new parts from the device that hasn't been touched yet as replacement parts for replacement part. why is the screen not going uh, hold on guys Here we 
か、うん、Sorry if this looks weird. Like, I'm looking at the camera while doing the screen. Which I don't recommend doing. But I've done some pull downs on this machine already. I, th I think I'm just doing this video to help somebody out there that's probably like their company is getting the devices and they're not sure what's happening. So I'm just doing this pull down to help them、uh, get to know. The inside and out. Sorry about the background, also, guys. The location is kind of noisy. Okay, um, so now here's basically all that needs to be done to remove this section. Now, this section is kind of fastened in along with the screw, so you need to apply a little bit of force to remove it. But、uh, once the proper force is applied, it basically will just pop right off. As you can see, the only real tech on it is the speaker. And as I said, you need a solder iron to remove the speaker. So we just put this over here. Alright, <coughs> now I'm going to show you the damage component to this machine now. But first, let's remove the camera, which is just connected to this module right here. You can see. Place it over here.、Um, then we、we'll、put this ribbon holder and gently remove the ribbon. This, <coughs> excuse me, this is the printer head. So, this is the component that was damaged. So, let me see if I can show you here. So, if you look,、uh, you'll see a little hole right here. So, on my first time trying to pull this apart, I accidentally damaged the ribbon. It can't be repaired. I'm going to be getting a new machine so I can. Show a replacement of it for somebody out here. So, um, just don't be discouraged if your first time pulling it down has some mishaps. Um, first time for everything essentially. So, just keep trying, don't give up. So, here's the printer head. Um, this is a thermal printer, so no ink is required, it uses heat to print. Um, I'll show you the paper. Yeah, I'll show you the paper right now. Show you the example. So, this is thermal paper. Well, people call it receipt paper, but it's a thermal paper.、Um, it has a coating on it that once heat touches it, it makes it prints. So, the thermal printer sensor uses heat. So, I'm going to use my solder iron to show you an example of how this works. So, take your solder iron. I don't recommend doing this, but it's just for example. And like magic. And there's no ink or nothing, it's just purely heat. So, you can just. So, that's what a thermal 
printer does is essentially heats up the paper and creates the image from that. So I'll put this over here. Um, all right, so now to the board. Um, for this video, I won't be removing the battery. Essentially, with the battery, is it has a protective protective glue on the back so you don't accidentally remove it or it shakes or another i don't have the glue no so i'm not going to do the removal at this point but what you can do, use for the removal is like something to pry the battery gently i must add uh so nothing technical or nothing like a simple like something simple like this um just gently just place it under the battery and just lift once that happens remember to remove the battery connector as well which is this right here This is also connected by a ribbon. Also, the beautiful thing with these devices, it has a SIM card built in, so you can add a SIM to these devices. So there's two screws on the board, pretty hard to miss. So just remove those. Um, also, a tip when trying to open the device it's not going to be as simple or oh, screw the screws and just pop up you're also going to need something to pry well i wouldn't say pry but like lift up the device because the way how the back is built It's built to stay on, so when you clamp on, it clamps on and stay. So I'm not going to do that now because I want to do the um the opposite of a pull down, which is uh, put back together. I don't have the word right now. I'm a bit nervous. So yeah. So this is the second ribbon. What I like to do is use my screwdriver. I remove it and easy one too also you have this connector right here no it's it was hidden by the speaker I'm going to call this the speaker the whole thing was hidden by the speaker so once you remove it it's just a simple one two click and it's off and that's the board so I'm going to be showing you all the components of it uh, with the exception of the battery as I said but this is the battery right here so yeah so here is the printer head as I was saying so what you can use to clean the printer head is a bit of rubbing alcohol and a uh, cotton swab or uh, I forgot what the air cleaner things are called or, no they're not called. yeah cotton swab sorry also if you want to do this professionally you also have a thing called thermal printer cleaner pin I have one in my position right now You can order these on Amazon for like $11, it's not that much. And you can clean it while the device is together. So all it is is just remove the, um, remove the paint cover and just slide across. And you're cleaning the metal layer because the metal layer will only be shown. And if the printer is dirty in any capacity then the pen will show it no this print, this printer isn't as dirty 
but you can see the little discoloration right there so yeah um so here's the board this is the board these are all the components of the board now this is a battery connector you have two ribbon connectors right here this one is for the printer head and this one is for the screen you also have a sim card it uses a type c charging port um, so yeah that's it um am i missing anything no i think that's it so focus so that's it for today guys that was the tsunami v2 breakdown video now i totally recommend these devices for any business or company that you're running you can make receipts keep records um they're really small they don't take up much space they're really good devices oh sorry they're really good devices to have and if repair if repairs are needed as i said it's best to go to the company however if you have abundance of some uh, hopefully this video can help you i'll be also making a part two video of putting back the devices together along with a new printer head because as i said this one is damaged so thank you for watching guys hope this helps somebody out there and have a beautiful day